Hey guys, welcome back. So after I checked my journal, I'm actually glad that I'm doing two parts of this because otherwise it would have been probably an hour long video. Turns out from just looking in my book, the this second experience, I wrote like five or six pages about this. So probably for the best this is own video and this one should be a lot shorter than the other one, but we'll see. So welcome to part two of my Akashic Records experiences. In this part, we are going to be talking, funnily enough, about the second time I visited the Akashic Records. Bear in mind, this time happened only three days and almost three days to the hour from my first experience. It was another group meditation session and I think this was one of the ones where it wasn't all of us meditating, it was just like two or three of us, but some of my friends also make an appearance in this iteration or in this visit. As always, if you're gonna be a party pooper and you're gonna be boring and you're gonna put logic in this and just make that the whole thing, please GTFO. Suspension of disbelief and having a bit of fun with the metaphysical realm is what we're all about. I'm a hedge witch, god damn it. We like to play on the fringes. I'm in a really playful mood today, so I apologize, but let's just go with it. So let's jump straight in before I start waffling on. This experience started pretty much like how all the meditation experiences did. I was getting into a trance and I found myself at the foot of the bridge to the Akashic Library again. I was overlooking the beautiful lake of stars and I could see from the bridge that two of my friends were sort of in the grounds but like it was like farish away but i just i just had the sense it was then so yeah as i'm reading this more i think it was just the three of us doing this meditation so yeah all of our auras were shining like super prominently like it was it was almost like we were just like a spectral version of us of our auras we were just our auras almost so i then entered the library and i was greeted again by the cosmic curator the being that i met in the library who i'm 100 percent convinced is a caretaker of the akashic library i got told off during this um this visit i got told off like i had it coming really i don't know when to like stop so the curator asked me why are you here why do you want to read from the records today simply put that's that's all the curator said and me being the awkward turtle that i am was just a bit like uh, uh, uh no real words came out and then it said do you want to read something specific or are you just here for the sake of it i felt a bit silly after that i felt incredibly sheepish because i had just been called out by this interdimensional being in the akashic library the theory was really nice about this house in mind though, I'm not gonna lie. It just put his hand on my shoulder and said, look at your friends. And so I saw my two friends in like the grounds or the gardens because I remember there was like these whole, this whole courtyard in the Akashic library. And they were, they were like beautiful, these courtyards. So really pretty, really ethereal, very, very magical. And of course you had all of these stars everywhere as well. But my two friends, I'm trying not to just like say their names because I'm, you know, like, but it slips out, oops. I saw my two friends in one of these grounds and they were building sandcastles. Don't know where the sand came from, but yeah, okay. So after resigning to the fact that this experience and this visit in the Akashic Library was not going to be the same as the first one, I, my spirit sort of like just resigned to that and happily went with the flow and just went over with them. We all just started building sandcastles in the Akashic Library or outside of the Akashic Library. We started off just, you know, innocently building small little sandcastles, but eventually like we all just like grouped together and they started getting bigger and bigger. And this sand was like pure white as well. Like it wasn't like yellow. It was like crystal clear sand. It was. I've never seen sand like it in real life. I mean, there are there is sand like it in real life, but it was the sand was itself was just magical. Like I'd go on and on about the sand. It was like the sand had an aura. And as these like these amalgamated ethereal sand castles came together, we just started building this huge like sand tower. And this tower was not small, it was huge. It just went right up into the sky. And it was just like 
the Akash Rackles are just chilling, the library is just chilling, Curator's doing whatever the Curator's doing, probably going to talk to someone else who's just chilling in the Akashic Library when they shouldn't be. And it's like, while we were building it as well, I'm just, I saw, some of this is starting to come back a little bit, but it's like, we weren't like going up to build it, we just kept adding more to like the bottom and like shape in the bottom, and it's like, it would just like go up and up and up the more that we added. But when it was finally done, I don't know how we decided it was done, but we just knew, we entered this ethereal sandcastle tower and we ended up walking up like a spiral staircase because like this it, it wasn't a very wide tower like it, it would look wide you know it was normal like to a normal person but i just mean like in general it was big enough for us to just fit in there you can think of the spiral staircase and the tower inside sort of like cabot tower in bristol honestly that's the best way to describe it like the the spiral staircase it was exactly like that but made of sand and we kept going and going and going, the three of us, and when we got to the top of the tower, we just stood there and overlooked the beautiful, like, sea of stars. It was an incredible sight. It was so beautiful. Actually, and they all know exactly who they are now once they see this, but this Akashic experience that the three of us were having was identical to an experience that we had had about two-ish years previous, where we were all watching the sunrise at this overlook uh, local quarry that we all know in a place that we all really love. And we just had a very um, intense spiritual night and the three of us were just standing there watching the sunrise and the trees dancing. And it, it felt like that real life experience had transferred two, three years later into the metaphysical Akashic experience. It was basically the same thing, just different scenes but the exact same people and the exact same feeling. And it felt like that, and for a brief second, it turned into that quarry sunset experience. And then it switched straight back to the castle and the sand. My one friend disappeared into a pure white energy. My other friend then disappeared into a wonderful green energy. And I disappeared into a wonderful purple energy. I'm so glad that I write these things down because if you ask me now what our colors were at the time, I wouldn't know. And then we were transported, like, and I'm pretty sure we came out of the Akashic Records now because it didn't quite feel like, something felt different. It felt more like we were back in the meditation headspace. But, you know, they could all be connected. But I suppose that is a debate for another time. We were transported to the foot of a tree that had this cute little fairy hole in it. We climbed in through this entrance and we climbed up into the tree and we were just watching the whole forest that we were now in turn from all you know beautiful and sunny to like bioluminescence everything was bioluminescence i'm using more references you know the whole scene in the first avatar where nateri and jake meet each other properly for the first time and it's all bioluminescent it was like that but earth in fact i'll read this passage because trying to explain this is actually a bit confusing but when i write things down it, it just makes way more sense we climb through the tree branch entrance and the forest around us turned bioluminescent showing we had truly entered an enchanted forest. Through the branch door, you could see the normal forest in contrast. Fae of all kinds flew and fluttered around us, blue light trails coming from them. They flew around and around us before lifting us up and levitating us to the treetops, so we could see the forest stretching for miles. The sky time-lapsed from day to sunset to night to sunrise a few times as we rested our heads on each other's shoulders and watched from the treetops. I always write really frantically when I'm trying to write these meditations out so I don't forget, like, that's what I mean. I forgot that even happened, but now that I'm reading it, oh, it's just so sweet. So after this strange enchanted forest thing, I got transported back to the library, the actual library, and the energy shifted so I really felt like I was back in the library, like, properly then. This time, the curator had a little message to tell me, and you're goddamn right I wrote the message down. The curator said to me, Energy is all there is and all there ever will be. From you to the air around you, to the clothes on your back, to your thoughts. Energy is. Once you understand that, life becomes limitless. Humans are still in their infancy. You have not evolved past war, conflict, and famine yet. Once you do, you'll understand so much. You will evolve so much. Everything will make sense for you, collectively. There is no point to humanity's existence except to just be, to just exist. 
to appreciate life, to just flow with life, just be, just exist, just enjoy your time here. Like this curator said all of this to me, and this is why I'm glad I wrote it down. I mean, I should like get that written, I should like write that and just stick it on my wall somewhere so when I'm having a really like, you know, depressive episode, I can just read that and remember that like this Akashic being or this metaphysical being gave me like the answer to life right there. Then the curator asked me to just come and sit with it and to quite literally experience nothing. No. Even in this magical Akashic realm, I was a bit like... Right? I wasn't against the idea at all. I wasn't against it. I just... I was like, okay. I was just... It's like, I didn't quite know where the curator was going with this. It just said for me to come and sit with it and do nothing. It just said to come and sit with it and do nothing and just experience the benefits of just being and we quite literally sat there said nothing did nothing and just experienced the energy around us and just experienced being just existing and you know i struggle to do that i struggle to just be like it, i'm better at it now than i was even a year ago but sometimes i do just struggle to just be and that experience really helped me to just understand how special it is that we get to just exist here and we just or here metaphysically spiritually mentally emotionally we just get to be it's it's a real blessing and i learned that from the curator in the akashic library like i've never been able to pick that up from anyone like in the human realm properly and in our earth realm never i've only ever really that only ever stuck with me from the curator so for all the skeptics out there even if you don't believe that this happened i still learn something that i hold dear to my heart to this day and it will stick with me for the rest of my life so i'm winning you're not i understand skepticism and i think it's healthy to a degree and i always go into everything first with a bit of skepticism but people who are just skeptics for the fun of it boring oh yes of course of course of course of course so for the final like segment of my visitation to the Akashic Records this time, this was this was so so nice. This was like uh, you know the the whole experience and nothing and understanding just being was beautiful. But this experience, I'm just reading it. Yeah, this experience was just oh peace. It was just inner peace. So the curator quite literally faced me and like opened its hands and like beamed me with like the most spectacular white light I've ever seen. It was so spectacular it almost wasn't white. It beamed my entire being, my whole body, my brain, my emotions, everything. And it quite literally started washing me with this energy and it was like going all up my arms, like with its hand by this point, like the beams it sort of was like just going in until physical contact and it was just bathing me quite literally like washing me and like touching me and it was giving me an energy bath like a literal energy bath like I, I felt like I was being like I felt like a, a toddler who was like being cared for by its mother I felt like I was being nurtured and I was protected and safe it was truly one of the most revitalizing and amazingly peaceful and safe experiences I've had in my entire life metaphysically or in our reality for some reason the numbers what i write 8 12 and 15 were very prominent for this particular meditation and this akashic visit don't know why maybe some numerologists or anyone who's good with numbers could explain that to me maybe it's nothing maybe they were just numbers i need to see at the time but they were prominent for the whole thing and the whole meditation ended with me seeing myself as a child playing in a sand pit that used to be in my nan's garden that was how the whole experience for this particular session ended for me took me a minute but i just checked i thought i'd like made an error in the other video but no this this session this akashic visitation and meditation session just like the first one lasted 17 minutes like i've written it down i'm not making this up 17 minutes both of them lasted exactly 17 minutes and both of them felt like longer i don't know what to tell you and so 
that was my second experience visiting the Akashic Library. Now that I've looked through this book, I have lots of other like trippy experiences from the um, meditation sessions. But basically, in one of these meditation sessions, I didn't write it down. I thought that I would, so I could just read it to you, but I didn't. But I remember this quite specifically because I thought I was going mad. I was like, there's no way I've actually reached the library. There's absolutely no way. I've been trying for too long. There's no way that it's just working now. But like I said in the first video, I was fresh off not smoking anymore. I'd been smoking for six years and I had literally quit like a, not even a full month before, maybe even like not even a couple of weeks. So I was in like a really vulnerable like mental state and I felt like I was just open to things a bit more. My attention span was a bit better and I saw like weird green energy come in. I had to have been the first session, not the second one because this person wasn't one of the people who was in the second session but I saw this weird green energy that was coming off of, I think it was coming off of like my friend or it was just like nearby but while I was in the library there was just this green energy my friend was saying as we were doing our roundup in the group chat that she could see me talking to like or like hanging out with and trying to touch this green energy so I was like sitting by a bookshelf or something and I was trying to like reach out to this green energy or it was trying to reach out to me and it was just like that's the curator I, that, that, that's what was going on but i just found that very interesting that although we were having separate meditative experiences my akashic experience was coming out in their meditation experience and that's the closest thing i've got to prove that, that happened and that's enough for me that is enough for me because both of these experiences were so beautiful and they were like some of my most treasured spiritual experiences which have really reshaped how I become and am today. I think I will tell more of my meditation stories in the future. I don't have any other Akashic experiences though. I have a few other entities that I have met in these meditation sessions. I have an old video called ETs and Entities, which is like two, three years old now. So if you if you can't wait for that story, just go and watch that video. But I I wouldn't recommend it because it's it's one of my older videos. But it's there, so go and watch it if you want to. I'm gonna re-talk about that soon, and I want to talk about some of my other meditation experiences because it's it's nice to talk about them. And I'm gonna leave this video with a question to you, the viewer. Have you ever visited the Akashic Library? Have you read your own records? Have you read other records? Have you met any beings when you've been in the Akashic Library? Please let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your stories. I find all this stuff very fascinating and if you have something to add to this conversation or like you just have some thoughts or feelings about what I've been talking about, please just comment away right down below. As always guys, blessed be ever so slightly different to my usual conversations but I love talking all about spooky stuff and the spooky stuff and you will see a lot more of that on this channel filtered in between my other videos. Have a good day, have a good night, whatever time of day it is, I hope you're doing it right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!